Roll them. Here at the Shady Rest Gardens, we were blessed with a forest of uh, pine trees, sweet gums, assorted other hardwoods and softwoods, plus muscadine and, and uh, honeysuckle and poison ivy. And we've had to clear many of those trees out in order to punch holes in the sky to get sunlight to our uh, day lilies. Well, anyway, I, I've done quite a bit of the, the tree cutting myself, and we always emphasize safety. As you can see, I'm wearing protective gloves. I'm wearing extra thick boots on my feet. I'm wearing chaps. I'm wearing safety glasses, a hard hat. Those are the minimum requirements for safety because we don't want anyone to get hurt. So keep in mind, safety first when you're operating a chainsaw, okay? Then we must crank the saw properly. We have a, a chain stop, it clicks automatically. There's no, uh, no, you know, no injuries at all. And I've used this for, for a while with no injuries whatsoever. Let me crank it first and I'll show you a couple of features here. Must keep your hat on at all times. You cannot score in roller derby with a helmet on. Well, I just tuned this thing up this morning. I think I can, uh, I can get it to, my back's a little sore, maybe that's part of the problem. So let me try the alternate method of cranking the chainsaw. First, you, you uh, make sure that it's right there. And then, you give it a little bit of gas and you go. You can sing soprano in the choir after using the proper methods of operating a chainsaw. Thank you from the Shady Rest Gardens.